Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebraic equations? We have root k multiplied by root k multiplied by root k plus root k multiplied by root k equals odd And here we want to find the value of k that satisfies this equation. So let's consider the solution from here. When we look at the first part here, we are giving root k multiplied by root k multiplied by root k. So when we try and multiply this one together, so for this, we are having root k and root k. So this gives us the root of k squared so we take one root and multiply k with k then multiply by root k so after this this root and square cancelled and we have k multiplied by root k that is k root k then when we proceed we are going to have the other part here which is root k times root k and uh, that one give us if we multiply root k by root k, so this gives us k. As we already did something like that before. So let's try and combine this together. So for the first part there, we have k root k. Then plus k equals odd After getting to this stage, Suppose I let root k equals n and when I take the square on both sides, we are going to have k equals n squared. So by squaring this, square and square root cancelled and we are going to have k equals n squared. Let's replace it here. We have k already, which is n squared. Here is n squared multiplied by, and root k is our n. Multiply by n, plus also we have k here, which is n squared, equals 100. Here we have here as 1. This is product of indices. n raised to power 2 multiplied by n, this gives us n power 3 then plus n power 2 equals 1 or drained. Then after getting this, we have to solve these equations because this is cubic equations. We need to get the values that satisfy this one. But let's look at this first. So this equation does not have and all values i mean a single values like this so this will result in an integer because when we start testing for this let's say we assume that if we assume n to be equals equals 4 for instance so n cannot be 0 it cannot be 1 it cannot be 2 so even it can never be 3, because if we say 3 raised to power 3 here, that is 27 plus 9. So that is far below order end. But let's try when n equals 4. So we try n equals 4, and we substitute in this, we are going to have 4 power of 3 plus 4 power of 2. So this gives us 4 power 3, it means we multiply 4 in 3 times. And that gives us 64. So 64 plus 4 is to power 2. We multiply 4 in 2 times. And this gives us 16. Then 64 plus 16. This gives us 80. And this 80 we have here is less than odd And let's test for another value here. Suppose we say let n here equals 5. If n equals 5, we still apply the same formula here and we substitute the n equals 5. Here becomes 5 raised to power 3 
plus 5 raised to the power of 2. This equals 5 raised to the power of 3, we multiply 5 in 3 times, and this gives us 125 plus also 5 raised to the power of 2, that is 5 in 2 times. This gives us 25. By adding 125 plus 25, we get 130. And this 130 is greater than 100. But we have where we are going now. Here is 130 and here is 80. For any equals 4 and for any equals 5. Which shows that the value of n here must be in between 4 and 5. Therefore, the solution we are going to get will be 4 less than n and n less than 5. So that is the value is found between the two. But we cannot see what will be the value. So let's see how we can get that value from this. So let's redefine the estimate we did earlier. As I've already chosen that, we are going to have 4 less than n, n less than 5. By redefining this estimate, suppose we let if n here equals, let's choose number around, let's say 4.5, for instance. So we can see 4.5 between 4 and uh, 5. We have to replace it here, as we are going to have Instead of n squared, we change n squared to 4.5 raised to the power of 3 plus also 4.5 raised to the power of 2. And 4.5 raised to the power of 3, when we multiply this together and press calculator, we are going to have this as 91.125. Then plus, when we press calculator for this as well, 4.5 raised to the power of 2, we get 20.25. By adding this together, we are going to have 5 here. Let's say this is 0. So 0 plus 5, this gives us 5. 5 plus 2, that is 7. Then 2 plus 1, we have it as 3. Then here is dot 0 plus 1, that is 0, that is 1. 2 plus 9, this is 11. And we can see that this 11 is also far greater than 1 or 30. Therefore, we're still going to reject this n equals 4.5. But let's see the value less than this 4.5. Assume that I choose n to be equals 4.3 for instance if n equals 4.3 so let's try and substitute again we are going to have 4.3 raised to the power of 3 so let me just put in bracket plus also 4.3 raised to the power of 2 well, we multiply 4.3 in 3 times we are going to have an apple, uh, something around 79.507. Then plus also 4.3 raised to the power of 2. This gives us 18.49. And by adding all this together, if I add 0 to this, so 0 plus 7, this gives us 7. 9 plus 0, that is 9. Then 4 plus 5, that is 9 as well. Point 0.8 plus 9, that is 17. We write 1, we hold 1. Then 1 plus 7, that is 8. Then 8 plus 1, we have it as 9. This gives us 97.997, which is very, very close to odd So this is very close to odd as an approximate. Then we can just conclude that the approximate value, I mean the approximate value, not the real value for n here is given as 4.3. So this is the one that is very close. But we want to look for the one that is more closer 
than this we can just try 4.32 yeah 4.32 will be more much more closer than this like it gives us around 99 point something then since we have gotten the value of n let's come back to where we let our root k equals n so therefore we are going to have our k equals n raised to the power of 2 and by squaring this n we are going to have k equals 4.3 squared and 4.3 squared it gives us 18.49 so 18.49 is the solution to the value of k so this is how we solve this problem thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this see you in the next class never stop learning bye bye